<laughs> and we were uh, we just finished exploding everything, and yep. including the final boss. Mass guy. pandemonium we, occurred. We pretty much just, uh, just literally pandas pr running all over the place. My screen is seventy five percent red X's. And yep. pandas. Mm. All right, so first order of business is going to be bookkeeping before we do anything else. All right. The music you got playing. Sounds like Guile's theme. Not Guile. No, it's not sounds, Guile's theme. So sounds like Guile's theme. <laughs> Fuck wrong not with y'all. Not, not, not Guile's theme. Yeah, that's not the song at all. <laughs> so tools laid out. I don't know what you're hearing, Steve, but... I mean, he can play John the Fisherman acoustic. So, no one has answered my question yet. What was your... What is the name of his goddamn song? Simon's Theme from Castlevania... Uh... Two? Uh, okay. well, I don't is it. It's been in a number of them. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to remember when it first appeared. Alright, anyway. Never anyway. Castlevania so pull up my XP log, because it's the first thing we're going to do. Orange Town okay. Combat. Alright. For combat that just finished, you immediately receive 1,250 experience each. A lot of it. I wish I was at my computer to record it. How much? 1,100? 1,250. 1,250. This should put you at 4,886 experience. You had 3636 before. <clears throat> Darn. Not level 5. So, then... All my robe of wondrous items... Then, you get an additional 1,500 experience each for completing the chapter. Uh, <laughs> he cut in and out there, so I just like... Alright, <laughs> guys, we're gonna have to go spam kill some boars in a forest, because we are so close to level 5. Yeah. yeah now you have doing. 14 experience to go. Okay, that's what we're doing. Then you we're each doing. you each get the fifteen experience bonus points because I don't feel like making like watching you guys go and try and chase a deer for fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. I don't want this to be a session composed of trying to hunt and kill small animals. What's the next tier? The eighteen something? I'm sure. No. No, twelve thousand something. It's higher. I had don't. I, let fourteen thousand. Let me find my list. Yeah, fourteen thousand nope, apparently. That's not no. it either. Character advancement. Fourteen thousand. So, oh, so that was it. Yeah. DM tools in my head. By the way, Steve, yeah. your picture for a Roxy is super gay. I know. <laughs> super gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, two of us, two of us made semi-serious characters, and two people did not. <laughs> yeah. What? That's my character's weird. serious? How dare you? <laughs> Lily of the of the something. of according to my notes, <laughs> the Tinkering Information Trade Society yeah. is not a serious character. <laughs> what? How is that not a serious character? And her backstory is perfect. You can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> okay. Hi. My name is Lily, and um, I I will I will my diary. <laughs> I will, like, disband this Discord channel. Like... <laughs> Just straight up. Listen, listen, listen. Alright, sure, I had a little fun in the creation, but Lily is still a serious character. Yeah. I play that... her as a character that's real. I'm, yeah, I'm, on, really I'm on board, Eric. I'm, I'm with you. I like your character, okay? Yeah. Take that one to the bank. <laughs> Alright. Now, treasure. Everyone's second favorite part after XP. No, that's you my know. favorite part. I, I, like the ex I like, we like the XP, <laughs> Thomas. Uh, can I, I want to rework the Artificer class. Can I get that oh. as a reward? <laughs> so I rolled this, and I'm I'm torn whether to give you guys plot appropriate, uh, uh, or, plot or the, appropriate items, or RNG mm -hmm. or the items that, or the yeah. items that actually rolled in the table. Yeah, tell us the items <laughs> in the table, and then tell us the plot appropriate ones. And, and then we'll, Thomas, we'll do not, Thomas, option. do not do that. You have to just pick one, and you can't tell us which one. You have to do it. Wait a minute. <laughs> because sometimes, oh. 
Because sometimes a scroll of Revivify comes up in a fight where half the party died. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I mean this. I'm talking about the the things that are that the game considers art objects. So you're not just getting a big lump sum of gold, but it's like things worth thirty gold pieces, for instance. And sometimes in the game, those are, for instance, you got oh, you find you know two paintings worth a hundred gold pieces each instead of just finding two hundred gold pieces. Uh, to make the loot more interesting. That's how the tables in 5th edition work. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes when you roll on those tables, the items it gives you are very silly. I mm. know. There's some really <laughs> silly ones. <laughs> and so I'm just going to tell you what it uh, what it gave me for you guys. You get oh, uh, a boat. Um, a boat just fell out of his corpse. We yes. don't know why. <laughs> so from the surrounding area, you have gathered 880 copper. 7,425 silver, 355 gold. I'll copy this and paste it in a minute. Okay. Okay, great. 13 Good. wheels of cheese worth <laughs> uh, one <laughs> gold piece each. What? So they are serving cheese. That makes sense. Shut up. Shut up. This is brilliant. 20 pounds of barley worth Hold 10 gold pieces. Uh, two sets of bagpipes worth 30 gold pieces. <laughs> Uh, 200 gold piece worth of fabric. I'm so into that. Uh, a vial of holy water. Not into and that. Then, uh, nine black jasper worth 50 gold pieces each. Eight green spinals worth 100 gold pieces each. And a potion of hill giant strength. Nifty. Took forever to get the stupid weep. Please. Mm. Are we ever going to get any magic items? Because... At the fifth level, I get superior attunement, which lets me attune you to four literally just got a magic item. magic item. You literally just got a magic item. Where? <laughs> it, the potion of hill giant strength. It rolled on the. It, that, that's a roll that's on the magic, magic item, item table. A, that's not a magic item you get attuned to. It's not an attunement magic item, but those in fifth edition hates giving those out. It's really hard like, to I could those. Be, I could be attuned up to four of them. Yeah. Well, you, well. you guys probably won't see four of them drop. Like. Not for a long That's time. That's why I'm asking. Not for a long time. You know, not, Eric, we're not, gonna, there. we're not going to see attunement items consistently until we're at, if you look at the tables, I don't know if you can, if you have the DM's guide. I think you bought I it. Don't. All right, well, nope. in the DM's guide, you don't start getting, like, good shit until, like, level 8, 9, and 10 consistently. Yep. All right, uh, we're yeah, and then a, right uh, <laughs> you know what, fine, Ooh. a cubic gate shows up, and the whole campaign is, <laughs> is essentially ruined. Because yeah. <laughs> now you can teleport anywhere, whenever. That's fun. That's, Leave that's to good. somewhere nicer. <laughs> so, when do I get to make my robe of useful items? Uh, well, so it's think, at level five, correct? And now you're yeah. level five. I think, yeah. I think we're gonna go take a rest at the conclave while we <laughs> learn our new skills. Wink, wink. Yes. Well, I have a bunch of shit. I have a bunch of shit to read. But let me uh, let me go ahead and. Eric, are you keeping track of all the money? No. You have the bag. No, of I guess I'm, so, I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I get yeah. to add that to the bag. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to be. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> great. The... Great. <laughs> you, we, I, I nominated you as treasurer, and you didn't fight against it. <laughs> I do have a thing that is a running total. So. Did you convert it all into gold, or is it actually all like? Gold? It's mostly all gold. Okay. I left us some silver and copper, but obviously I didn't need to do that after this. No. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. So you so know I'm what? Storing all these items, or is anyone um, taking? Um, for mechanics, no. for mechanics' sake, mm -hmm. Eric, why don't we just do the robe of useful items right now? Well, I want. I kind of want to know what I would get if I choose it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting into that first. Um, you need. I'm going to have you roll for your patches. I'm going to have you roll 44. This could be four. This could be 16 things. This is so huge. All right. Oh, Ooh, that's a good ten. one. It's a that's good roll. Good. It's a good <laughs> roll. All right. Now, you have two options. Either uh, in a little bit, I will pick 10, uh, 10 patches for you. That sounds like it's boring. Or you could roll for them on the chart. <gasps> Do it. Well, I'm definitely rolling for him because you would pick garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pick cool items. Your definition of cool may not be the same as the rest of ours. 
I mean, I want to change my mind if I get shitty items. <laughs> Alright, no, I'm rolling is... it. Uh, Rove has two of each of the following patches. So what's the one in the last patch is removed? So has two of each of the following patches. Dagger, bullseye, lanterns, mirror, to put pull, hep, and rope sack. In addition, has 44 other patches. Alright. So let's... Let's so you get to get. roll on the chart ten times. First roll. I'm just yeah. Should I do it one at a time? That'd be more one fun. at a time, and then we'll go. <laughs> ah, depending 20. on what you roll. <laughs> okay, twenty. A twenty. Ooh, all right. An iron, iron door. door. Ooh. Up to ten feet high and ten feet ten feet ten feet high, ten feet wide and ten feet high. Barred on one side of your choice, which you can mm. place on an opening you can reach. It conforms to fit the opening, attaching and hinging itself. That's mm. pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Do I have to be able to pick up the iron door to put it into the opening? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, let's make a note in that. I'll make a my notepad. So roll one twenty. Iron door. Roll two. What will it be this time? Twelve. Twelve. Silver coffer. Silver coffer. Mm. One foot six. One foot long, six inches wide, and deep, worth five hundred GP. Mm-hmm. Nice. Not bad. You can beat a nigga's head in with it. I'm gonna be rich after this. Demonetized. <laughs> demonetized. Yeah, you're definitely gonna be demonetized after that. Roll three. Who said that? 87. Two mastiffs. Two mastiffs. <laughs> that was really the cool. monster manual for statistics. Interesting. <laughs> you just get some random dogs. You're like, oh, hell no. What's up, dog? You know what's great? I just great? pull them off my robe. <laughs> those, those, those dogs don't go away. They're like alive now. Yeah, <laughs> when, he, when, he, when he makes them, they're just alive. Hey puppies, where are they? Uh, they're only CR one, one eighth though. They're not that strong. You don't need them. To, you can use them for wisdom checks, perception mm. checks. We can go. We can. We can go hunting. We can go fox hunting. <laughs> can I learn to take an artificer? I might be able to. Uh, it's possible. I don't remember your spell list like off the top I'm of my head, but I'm not seeing it. Oh well. We have to get someone who can speak with animals then. <laughs> Alright, roll All right, four. Roll four. 88. 88. More Mastiffs. More Mastiffs. <laughs> I'm liking oh this my less. God. <laughs> uh, that was probably one of those, like, if you roll an 84 to, like, an 88, it's Mastiffs. Yeah. 84 I'm to 90. I'm liking this robe a little less now. <laughs> 51. 51. A riding, a riding horse with saddlebags. Oh, that one's cool. <laughs> Why am I getting cool. only animals? Yeah, only <laughs> a robe of many animals. <laughs> <laughs> if only I was a druid. This would be great. All right. Uh, well, can we reroll? <laughs> yeah, I don't want another riding if you horse. The I want a horse. Same number. You can reroll. A one percent chance. I did get the exact same number. All right, reroll. <laughs> Twenty-seven. I don't want two horses. Ten gems worth hundred GP. <clears throat> Animals and the money to, f to pay for the food for them. <laughs> or saddle. Convenient, I guess. And this one's 10 gems. Come on. So I can keep them in my coffer. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. If you take that patch off. <laughs> All right, roll that one. 99. 99 portable the ram. portable ram. Ooh. Convenient. Now we can break down doors. Nice. Doors, the natural enemy of D&D &D adventurers. Seven, Pretty much. Spell scroll containing one spell of first to third level. And I will roll for that in a minute. We'll just move on. So this is how many rolls now? That's eight. That was That's eight. eight. Okay. Third. All right. Roll nine. Another riding horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh... Alright, I'm liking it less now. <laughs> Come on, one more horse and then everybody will have a horse. Or at least four. Start riding a bag animal. of 100 gold pieces. Bag of 100 GP. That's a disappointing one. <laughs> I mean, useful, but. Alright, yeah, so how many of these are good? How many of these are bad? That's good. That gives me a check. Silver coffer's good. Mastiffs, eh. Mastiffs, eh. A horse, eh. <laughs> I guess I could sell the horse. Four uh, rolls were animals. That was really funny. We could also mm. use. We, now that we have a horse. Actually, could, five rolls were animals. I re rolled one. <laughs> we could probably just buy a wagon now and use the horse to pull the wagon. 
There's a robe of useful animals. Yeah, the the robe of zany antics. <laughs> <laughs> the robe of Animal Farm. <laughs> life comes. It's at also you. got life comes at you fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I did my evaluation. Six of them were pretty good. Uh, four of them were not that great. Mm. <laughs> Uh, at least I didn't get hemp, uh, no, at least I didn't get, what do I want? A wooden ladder would have been pretty shit. Well, wooden ladders could be handy, though. Yep. 24-foot ladder would have been handy. A pit would have been nice. Why couldn't I get a pit? Hmm. Or the rowboat. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think, uh, we don't need a robo. I, I think the portable ram is super cool. Yeah, let me look at my other options. You guys roleplay one. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just, do just, stuff while just, I yeah, just ro- just role play, just role play while I'm gone. Just, just role play, just, just do it. Because Make it sex thing. I it's fine. A rope of climbing, that's really useful. Helm of comprehending languages. I mean, that would have been really you also, useful. You also get for free two daggers, two lanterns, two mirrors, two ten foot poles, two hempen ropes, and two sacks. Yes, mm-hmm. I don't that's, really need any of those. We might need that mirror. That mirror is Why would we cool. need a mirror? Because there's enemies that petrify you, and I don't want to get petrified. <laughs> and at first I was mirror. Free. I was petrified. Uh, there also might be weird light puzzles Thomas is going to throw at us. Like that yeah, last, but you know like what? You know what would really, pit, you know you know really piss Thomas off, though? If uh, if we had a rope of climbing. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we'd, be mean, be we'd be able to get past... Rope of climbing we'd, pretty soon. we'd have to be able to get... Pat, we'd be able to get past so many easy, like, obstacles that are normally really fucking difficult to get past. Mm. <laughs> That's all he actually cares about, fucking over my nice, my <laughs> nice encounters. Mm. You made us climb over a pit. Or was that Steve? I can't that was That was me. That was Steve. <laughs> no, I, I also made you climb over a pit, though. That was... Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because you had to just just smell you under up. a rope and pull him up. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's a sixty-foot rope that'll that'll snake across a, an opening and tie itself up so we can and then pull us up. <laughs> <laughs> like it's super good, super useful. Yeah. <laughs> An alchemy jug is limitedly. Alchemy... Useful. Uh, not but if you want to has... get drunk for free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can give you oil too, and helm of comprehending languages. Come on. I don't think we need that one. You don't think so? I think no. we're going. How many it. times? How many times is there like some obscene language that we can't read in Tom's campaign? Well, we have. Com- <laughs> That's we have- true. That is my favorite trope. <laughs> we have. We have that spell. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Can- Someone actually does have it. Spe- spe- Spellulon has learned all of human language. Probably well, humanoid languages. Pretty much. What are my other options? Lantern or Revealing? Reveals Invisible Oh yeah, people. but do we really trust Spellulon to have our best interests in mind when he translates for us? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, Don't worry. We how, much, have a... how much gold was on that road? Checker. That's the important part. Yeah. Silver coffer. I mean, we just got enough copper and silver and gold to buy upgrades. Yeah, how much did we just get? 880 copper, 7,400 silver, 355 gold. So that's 7,425 silver, 742 gold then. Yeah, we got over 1,000 mm. gold. We got 1,000 gold. Not bad. That's at, And that's before we loot the city. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, have we picked what government we want to install here? <laughs> <laughs> Communist us. dictatorship. The I was answer think, is us. I was thinking a theocracy, with mm. us being the theocracy. I like it. Except for maybe Spellulon. Like a silver coffer worth 500. But you could be the yeah. prime minister. You could be the, you know, the prime minister or whatever. Uh-huh. I haven't thought it 100% through yet. And I got another 1,600 gold worth of object. Mm-hmm. So we could, how much does 2,600 gold buy it? <laughs> well, it <laughs> buys us a down payment on a house. <laughs> does house, it really? A house is like 15,000 gold, so... Oh, that's that's oh, no, that's sorry. A lot. That's a fort. A fort is fifteen thousand gold. Yeah, I was about to say, not Ooh. a house. We yeah. got a fort. We, could, we could it's get fifteen thousand. We could buy a fort. But you have to find a fort, fort with financing, though. That's the, that's the tricky <laughs> bit. You know? Listen, we will find we will find a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll just take. I have very high. 
I don't, out of character. I have very high charisma. I think I can. I think I could get this. <laughs> so we get this fort, you and have then we to can start an adventuring. You have guild. to introduce my game and universe to the dudes. concept of APR. <laughs> don't worry, I brought my. I brought my abacus. Listen, I'm already. I'm already looking to set up a franchise, Thomas. So, <laughs> you know, we can really get into like some business talk here. <laughs> Alrighty, so. With that, all right. I have decided. I am taking the rope of climbing. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Wait, and you've also got the rope, the rope of useful items, right? No. Oh, I well, wanted to roll that to see what I would have gotten. <laughs> you can't do that, man. You can't do that. You already said rope of useful items. No, I wanted to roll. <laughs> I, I literally even prefaced this with, "I want to roll this to see if I want it." This was, no, these are non these are not refundable transactions over here. <laughs> this is bullshit. I as I understood <laughs> it, you were I thought you were rolling to see what you would get versus letting Thomas pick stuff for you. No. Yeah, that's he was like he was like robe of useful items, and I was like, okay, first roll forty four. I would have got it. Would have been a fun activity. <laughs> <laughs> that that was never. St you were. I was like, okay, now you have two choices. No, no, I can no. pick them or you can pick them. You're like, oh, or, or like I can pick them or you roll. And you were like, oh, roll. So we rolled, and we we're like, ah, ha, ha, that's great. Yeah. And then it was a good time. You're like, that would have been great, wouldn't it have been? And I was like, it was great because it occurred. <laughs> So purple, purple warm, uh, worm this poison is, is two thousand is two thousand gold pieces. Wait, where do you think I'm going? I'm robbed. I was <laughs> robbing me. You're robbing me blind. <laughs> and next time I will make extra double sure which item you really want. Go to the recording. <laughs> Not until Steve I is recording it. You can see exactly what I say. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> The word right now is that Copper Rocket will reopen in early November. Seems late. <laughs> I guess they're trying to really redo the inside. I guess. Making it better. Hopefully. Mm. I will ask this. Is the iron door, like, reusable? Or is it just like you use it once and it's bam? I think most of them are used once. Hmm. So that's once on the like, stuff like that. It's like, yeah, they're, I never they're, want to yeah, use the iron door because... They're patches. Yeah. See, this is why I want easily... the rope of climbing because it's reusable. Yeah. Everything, because that's why I don't like the patches. Why don't we just buy it? A lot of the a lot of the base patches are garbage for me. Like the steel mm. mirror, ten foot pole, it's like not great. So most and most of the other things are just like gold. Gold and like there are occasionally like nice items like the iron door, the battery. Hmm. But uh. Hold on, my trip is situation back. Are fighting again. Hmm. So if I'm not paying attention, that's why. I, pr I like versatile items, and the rope of useful items are versatile. So I'm putting rope of climbing on my thing. I don't give a shit what Thomas says. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't be surprised if he takes it off your sheet. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, you can, you can keep put it on that. there. <laughs> Listen, Eric, I know how this works. He's just going to change it. <laughs> I'll yep. keep putting it back. Well, he's yeah, not, but he's you, never going you, to let you use it. Yeah, yeah it's it, fine. I'll, I'll I'll ground this fucking campaign to a halt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so be it. Moving on. Right. <laughs> enjoy your robe. <laughs> In, enjoy his nothing now, because he didn't want the robe. So it's like he could take the robe or or the robe, and he chose nothing. And I'm like, well, all right. I uh, I try to steal the robe. No, it's it's either I choose the rope or I quit the. You can't blackball the DM. <laughs> you I can't, can't blackball the DM. And That's I not how this works. He's I not, don't he, negotiate I, with terrorists. I'm, <laughs> listen, I only committed one act of terror. <laughs> Anyways, you encouraged it, really, so... Is that how this, <laughs> this works? Is not, this is not my fault. Uh, I don't think that's how any of this works. <laughs> it's, it's, it's truly not. No, yeah, I just I was I was speaking in reference to, to what they were saying. I'm like, I don't think that's how that works, man. I don't think how that's how you work. Um, like, oh no, it's just a, yeah, it's just uh, Thomas's fault. Are you sure about that? I'm, not <laughs> I'm just I think not it's feeling it. Hey Thomas, what was the uh, CR rating of that fight? Ooh, so it was just 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 for my own personal 
curiosity. It's weird because mm. there is there is so D and D doesn't have a good mechanic for phases. Mm. So um, I had to uh, hack something together. Mm. So what it ended up being was um, two and a half CR five monsters. Mm. Okay. Um, let me actually, let me pull up Kobold Fight Club again to give this information to you. Am I also right recording all the items we picked up? Kobold mm. Fight Club slash bag, fight. You can just record their values it? if you want. And just well, mark that they are items in case you need to haggle with them. I just want to know if um, anyone's taking any of the what's items. Jasper and Spinel? Spinel. They're gemstones. Yeah, gem keep that. Keep them as gemstones in the holy water because we might i'm keeping that. everything as the items he listed i'm just no. <laughs> asking is anyone taking any of the items for themselves before i record no. them in my bag so we don't have duplicates? no i don't no, think anything jumped out as me as being like i might i wouldn't be opposed to having a horse to ride but <laughs> with, with the horse well apparently i'm being forced to having the goddamn robe force you <laughs> picked the robe no I just want to see what I would have gotten if I rolled it. It's. I think everyone's in agreement that you picked the robe. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how far this <laughs> campaign gets. When oh, I ride met. off into sunset on my fucking horse with leaving horses, them behind. Horses, horses, plural. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna ride two at the same time. You I kill one for me when it gets cold, and then I'll use the other one. <laughs> okay. I gotta so, find a Chinese restaurant to sell these fucking mastiffs. The total XP of the counter, <laughs> mm -hmm. Steve. Yeah. The uh, the total XP of the encounter was five thousand. The adjust the adjusted XP of the of the encounter for your level was twenty thousand. Yep. Yep. I knew. Yeah. It. Times four. Yeah, it was a That's times four. Good. It was a deadly encounter. No shit. It was pretty dangerous. Yeah. Yes. It was. Yeah. No. It was. Deadly is like the someone's probably gonna die levels, but I I figured you guys yeah. would actually be able to handle that. Yeah, we had less than a uh, just to put it in perspective, guys. We had less than a like fourteen percent chance to get any magic items at all, and then he has to roll from a table to see if we get a magic item. Wow. Yeah. It, yep. So it's F worked F out in our favor. Yeah, we the fact that we got anything at all is pretty good at this level. Mm. And potion of hill giant strength is a good item. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it? How long does it, how it, does is. it last? Is it just like Let me look that up for you. I think it's an hour. Or an hour or ten minutes. Oh, all right, that's cool. Oh, there's a thing on your sheet now that you can change your strength temporary. Temporary. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of stuff on my character sheet, so my all my notes in my features and traits thing is missing, and it says it can be re-enabled mm -hmm. somewhere, but I can't. You can find go back it. to your simple, your simple sheet. Yeah, all you right, can swap so between you... them. If you click the gear, and you go Which to that gear? on your the one on the top your, on your sheet, your character right, sheet. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Go to the far right where it says like NPC always roll advantage. If you scroll down, gotcha. it'll say mm -hmm. inventory and features and traits and proficiencies. You want to change features and traits and proficiencies to simple. Simple, simple. Yeah. Keep inventory compendium compatible, and that's pretty much it. Okay, but features and traits and proficiencies and languages, I want it simple. All right. Yeah, because it's easier. Cool. To, it's actually easier to fill that in yourself. Yeah. And the right, compendium cool. so doesn't have all the stuff for whatever reason. Can I ask a question? Yeah, it works for me. At least my notes are here. Yes, again. you can. Why do I have to roll for the patches? It's just because uh, they what it says. they magically show up randomly. Yeah, that's that's part of the yeah. item. They do. Yeah. Because yeah. like I'm creating, so wouldn't I like? create the patches I want? Have you ever done it before? It doesn't really matter if I've done it before. Well, we're I don't get to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's... I'm going to rule it as creating the item uh, is uh, fiddly and imparts a certain amount of randomness to, uh, to the creation. You never really know which patches are what until they're already so, like, already imbued and sewn onto the cloak. Yeah. So, oh, and then so it, it becomes magical all at the same time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such a stupid item. And then, you know, the picture on the the picture on the robe shows you uh, exactly what it what each patch is. Mm -hmm. 
but those don't appear until it becomes a, a robe of useful items. Before that, it's just a, a patchwork robe. Mm -hmm. That's lame. <laughs> Blame Matt Mercer. Yeah. <sighs> Matt Mercer's a dick. But it was always like that. Like, d d 2nd Edition, yeah. the robe of useful items was like that. Yeah, but normally yeah. you don't make it yourself. <laughs> normally you find it somewhere, or someone sells it to you. You don't normally you make it yourself, and you're like, oh, I'll just put a patch on here. Oh, it's a dog! Yay! Blame, blame Matt Mercer. Inexplicably, they've always been... And it's always been randomized, so I, I've no, always asked, like, who fucking yeah. put these... Who put all these horses on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> who, the man who made this is insane. Yeah. No, 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 we're, we're gonna, gonna need 20 doors. DM. I'm gonna yeah. blame my DM who has absolute control and is trying to put blame onto Matt Mercer. <laughs> No, Matt Mercer's the one who said that the alchemist can make a robe at level five. Blame him. The robe itself is is the robe. You can't blame. I'm not an I'm not an artificer. I'm not an alchemist. I'm an artificer. Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah, but Steve, there's no other class that gets to make a robe. I know. <laughs> no one yeah, ever. And that's Matt and history and that's, is like. And that's Matt Mercer's fault that there's one now that can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then the rules should adapt to that new chain. That's not, no, you can't just cheat. You, you, what, what, <laughs> well, do you want Wizards of the Coast to print D&D &D edition 5.1, Matthew Mercer edition? <laughs> no? Matt Mercer but, edition. I mean, when you, when you take into account that you're using custom stuff that wasn't built originally for the thing, shouldn't you kind of make accommodations for the new thing? You know, like, you just like blindly, you don't just blindly apply rules to a thing that's breaking the uh, existing rules. It, it, it's not breaking the rules, though. It's well, not. It is. It's, it's a not. new. It's a new interaction that was never intended. But people make this. People have made this item before. When? Yeah, you can make items in D and D. There is a crafting magic item system. crafting is a thing. <laughs> Why do you think we Where? have tools? There's no skill for it. Yes, it <laughs> is. It's your tool yes! proficiencies. <laughs> That's what those are there for. So like, mm. if if we ever get brewers' tools, we can go make beer or whiskey. It would yeah, be still those tools for whiskey. We're not making magical whiskey. <laughs> uh, why not? It's D and D. We can make the whiskey fireball whiskey takes on a whole, you new, super a whole drunk. new meaning. <laughs> You're right. It's gonna get you super drunk, but you won't be hungover. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. I would buy that whiskey in a heartbeat. <laughs> I would buy the barrel at Costco for that. <laughs> uh. So I've recorded all, right. all you... the items we looted. Are you uh, are you guys ready for the next thing that occurs? Yeah, Ben waiting. Yes. So, yep. Is uh, well, 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 there was I'll a lot fine. of bickering going on, so I wanted to let the <laughs> yeah. bickering die down. What bickering? There was one person who was butt hurt, and everyone else was laughing at him. Yeah, yeah, it's there's true. one person who's annoyed that people don't listen to his fucking words. Moving on.